Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever we have learned about prime and composite numbers, let us quickly look at some of the questions. What is the sum of any two odd numbers, even numbers? So for each of these type of questions, all we need to do is we need to take examples of odd numbers, perform their sum for maybe two, three set of numbers and then see what different do we observe with the sum. So let us start with the first part that is sum of odd numbers. So let us consider two odd numbers like three and five. When you add them, you get eight. Consider two odd numbers five and nine. When you add them, you get 14. Add 11 and 13. When you add them, you get 24. When you add 11 and 3, you get 15. Oh, sorry, you get 14. 11 plus 15, you get 26. Now, do you observe something that every time you are adding up two odd numbers, the result is always an even number. Therefore, what we observe is sum of two numbers is always even. Sum of two odd numbers is always an even number. So that is our first observation. In the second case, we are asked to add two even numbers. So let's see what happens with even numbers. For example, 2 plus 6 gives 8. 12 plus 4 gives 16. 26 plus 2 gives 28. So what, what are we observing? So in case of even numbers also, the sum is even. So whether you add two odd numbers or you add two even numbers, the sum would always be even. Question number two, state whether the following statements are true or false. The sum of three odd numbers is even. So it's, is this true? that the sum of three odd numbers is even. So let us try. Let's consider three is an odd number plus five which is an odd number plus three which is again odd number. So sum of three odd numbers. And what is the result? The result is 11 which is again an odd number. So sum of three odd numbers can be odd. So the sum of three odd numbers is even. No, it is not always even. It can also be odd. The sum of two odd numbers and one even number is even. The sum of two odd numbers. We have learned that sum of two odd numbers is always even. So and then even number plus even number would be even. So this is true. Product of three odd numbers is odd. Now let us take examples. Let's consider three. So three is an odd number. This multiplied by say five which is an odd number and this multiplied by let's say another odd number 7. So how much would be the answer? It would be 15 into 7 which is 105 that is also an odd number. So if you want you can try these with few other sets of odd numbers and you would see that this is true. If an even number is divided by 2 the quotient is always odd. Now this is false because any even number will be exactly divisible by 2. So let us say 14. So 14 when it is divided by 2, what happens to the quotient? The quotient is odd. Now when you divide 16 by 2, what happens to the quotient? The quotient is even. So in this case, the quotient can be even or odd. All prime numbers are odd. So do you think that all prime numbers are odd? Most of the prime numbers are odd but not all. That's because there is an exception. And what is that exception? That is 2. Because 2 is a prime number which is even. Prime numbers do not have any factors. That is absolutely false because prime numbers have two factors every time. And what are those two factors? 1 and itself. Sum of two prime numbers is always even. Now, do you think that is true? Let us consider the first prime number that is 2. The next prime number is 3, which is equal to 5. So 2 plus 3 is 5, which is odd. Therefore, sum of two prime numbers is not always even. 
2 is the only even prime number. Yes, that is true. Except 2, all other prime numbers are odd. All even numbers are composite numbers. Again, this is false. That is because there is an exception to it and that exception is again 2. Because 2 is an even number but it is not composite. Product of two even numbers is always even. Let's try, let's say 2 into 4, that is 8. Let's try 12 into 6, that is 72. So, product of two even numbers will always be even and this is true. Question number 3. The numbers 13 and 31 are prime numbers. Both these numbers have same digits 1 and 3. Find such pairs of prime numbers up to 100. So basically what are we trying to do? We are trying to find out numbers which are prime numbers and which are made up of the same digits. So 1 is already mentioned 1331. Now let's look at the sieve of Eratosthenes. Now looking at the sieve, we can very distinctly see the encircled numbers which are the prime numbers. So it becomes easier for us to search for such numbers. So one such pair could be 17 and 71. They are also prime numbers and they are made up of the same digits 1 and 7. Now another such example, can you look for another such example, 23, no because 32 is not a prime number, 31, oh, 31 and 13 we have already done, uh, 43 it cannot be because 43 and 34 and 34 is not a prime number, 37 and 73, yes this could be another one, 37 and 73, is there any other that you could find? 79 and 97. So these are also made up of the same digits. So 13, 31, 17, 71, 37, 73, 79, 97. These are such pairs of prime numbers up to 100 which are made up of the same digits. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.